Hi guys, Pragyan here, currently a first year BBA student at Ames, New Delhi and welcome back to our channel and welcome back to a brand new episode of Spilling Out Secrets and today with us we have Sanika Agrawal who secured all India rank 29 in NEET UG 2022 and she's also the MP state topper. So first of all, Sanika, congratulations for your great feat. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, so guys, without wasting any time, let's begin with this episode. Uh, and yes, before I begin, uh, I hope all of you must already know that we also have a fun rapid fire towards the end. So do watch the entire video. Uh, so Sanika, the first question for you is that, uh, tell us about your need preparation journey in short. Okay, so I prepared for two years, 11th and 12th. And like 11th, the starting of 11th, I was pretty clueless. I used to study all sort of books and, you know, a lot of extra material. But then like after my experience of two, three months, I understood like I got a hand on the books, ki kaun si padne, exactly, which is NCRT, of course. So then I got a little more focused on what I am supposed to study. And like, but then thoda late ho gaya tha 11th mein. So I also had to cover starting ka 11th, which I did not do properly. So 12th, I would say was really good. I knew what to study, how to study. And it is a bit easier than 11th. So yeah, that was my journey in short. Great. Uh, so what was your biggest mistake during your preparation? Um, my biggest mistake uh, would be, again, ignoring NCRT. Because uh, like starting the chapters, then it end up being the Like I couldn't have a grip as much as my chapters were not good at all. And also I'd say that physics mein thoda ratta marne wala, I had a mold of that starting. Mein, so that was also a mistake. Okay, but you worked upon it towards the end. Yeah, I did. That, that's why you are here. Uh, so now let's talk about your subject by strategy. Uh, let's start with physics, the most feared subject. Yeah, so in physics, what I used to do is like a classmate, teacher ne padhaya jo bhi. So I would uh, revise that after the class, all the notes and jo bhi questions notebook mein kar, I would revise all of them. And then I do the concern questions in my module, in my coaching module, I'll solve them. Uh, and then test as aata tha uska to uske liye prepare kar leti thi and for the formulas i used to even see the derivation so that i don't forget them easily kyunki agar like straight ratta marte hain to then it there are chances that we forget it but like i used to do the whole derivation and bahut sare formulas to maine yaad bhi nahi kiya tha i used to derive them directly so that was the strategy and uh, mostly i used to solve questions in a time bound manner great and what were the books that you followed for physics um, for physics, my teacher's notes for the theory part and NCRT, again for theory and a little like the examples in NCRT, the questions and uh, uh, modules, my coaching modules. Okay, nice. Uh, and uh, talking about previous year questions, so how many PYQs, like till which year did you attempt the PYQs? Um, like in my, again, in my coaching module, they were given till 2005 and some questions even prior to that. So I used to solve them and I used to solve them like around, I've solved them around five, six times, the difficult chapters like rotation, etc. Great. Uh, so now let's talk about your bio strategy. Yeah. So bio again, it was, it was a little simpler. So I used to read my teacher's notes. But I don't have to remember a lot of things that I don't have to remember. The extra things, like what I have to do in NCRT. But for the extra things, I used to read them once. I remember how much I remember, okay, no. So like I wouldn't post too much. And then I would read NCRT, underline pencil, underline pencil, which was very important. The circle, diagrams, I would see it well. Which day I studied, basically I used to cover it the same day, in the evening. And then I used to solve MCQs at the end of the chapter. So that I would have to remember a lot of things. That would be in biology. Uh, so for bio as well, you followed the same material, your notes, uh, coaching material and NCRT. Yeah, um, but in coaching material, I only solve the questions, not like the theory. Only theory on, only from NCRT. And a little bit, which class I heard the teacher in class, mostly. Okay, nice. Uh, now let's talk about chemistry strategy. Uh, so for chemistry, in physical chemistry, again, it was like physics. But I also used to read like the NCRT of uh, physical chemistry. There were some theory points. Hote the. 
so i used to read those and uh, in inorganic again in crt like i used to find inorganic the toughest so like my end tak in the last even in the last week before need i was uh, studying inorganic only so like wo to bar 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 pad ke hi hota tha making the monics and all but i stick strictly to ncrt in that and organic maybe i also i read uh, ncrt only and like usme bhi like agar kuch compound ka diya hai ki it's stable on this temperature or something like that so all of that and sare reaction ke catalysts and mechanisms jo ncrt mein bhi especially wo to karti thi Uh, and and again for questions uh, questions ke liye again my coaching modules okay that's it only the uh, questions from coaching material only yeah and jo bhi test mein questions aate the or we used to get extra books yeah nice uh, so how many full syllabus mock test you give before the final need um, around 100 to 200 okay great uh, so uh, like in the last one or two months you must have given one test every day Yeah, yeah. Like in the last one month, I used to give a test every day. Sometimes even two tests a day. So, in fact, like I was two three months old, then from then I used to try at least three four tests a week to hold it. And like in end, so many tests were done. Great. Uh, so, any tips for error analysis? Uh, for error analysis, what I used to do is that paper was done. Like at coaching, I used to give the paper. When I used to come back home. सो जो जो क्वेश्चन गलत हुए थे जो बिल्कुल ही लाइक समझ ही नहीं आए कुछ कुछ फिजिक्स में बहुत ही डिफिकल्ट समझ ही नहीं आए तो उनका तो पूरा सोल्यूशन लिख लिया बट वॉट आई यूज टू डू इज ऑल द क्वेश्चन लाइक ऑल द टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन में सबको वापस देखती थी और मुझे उनसे रिलेटेड जो भी याद आता था एनसीआर में अगर उसके लाइक पैराग्राफ में और जो भी लिखे मैं वो सब वहाँ लिखती जाती थी लिखती जाती थी ताकि मेरा रिविजन हो जाए क्योंकि अलग से बुक लेके बैठने में तो लास्ट मंथ में बहुत ज्यादा आलस आता था तो मैं ऐसे ही रिवाइज कर लेती थी मोस्टली Uh, so any separate uh, error notebook you made or something of that sort um i didn't make a error notebook main a paper matlab jo paper tha usi pe red pen se likh leti thi and uh, like neat ke ek din pehle on 16th the like in night i used matlab main 2 baje tak jaagti thi generally in the last 6 months taki like dopahar mein neend khuli rahe to uh, what i did i took out all my papers and maine sari mistakes ek baar dekh li taki fresh rahe great Uh, so if not MBBS, what you would have pursued? Uh, so guys, with this we come to an end to this academic round. So now it's time for the fun section that is the rapid fire round. So Sanika, are you ready? Yes, sir. Uh, so the first one is your most favorite and least favorite subject. Uh, my most favorite was uh, physics, and my least favorite was inorganic chemistry. Uh, one word for physics. Love. <laughs> This is weird, but I I can't come with anything right now. Ah, uh, one word for inorganic. Ah, uh, it's a curse for students. Uh, rightly said. Uh, something <laughs> you sacrificed during your preparation. Ah, uh, something I sacrificed. Ah, uh, one thing was that I stopped reading novels because उनकी story बहुत मुझे engage करती थी तो मैंने छोड़ दिया था. Ah, your favorite color. My favorite color white. Nice. Uh, your favorite movie and web series. Ah, uh, my favorite movie would be um, "Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara," and my favorite web show would be Friends. Great. Your actor crush. No one. <laughs> no, but you'll have to take a name. I won't let it go okay, like this. Okay, so I'll say uh, Vicky Kaushal. I'll say. Okay, your inspiration. Oh, my parents. Nice. Uh, your favorite food. My favorite dosa. Uh, so the next question is complete the names of these chapters according to NCERT. So the first. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, but I'll still ask. Uh, so guys with this we come to an end to this video i hope all of you guys got to learn a lot from sanika herself and uh, that's it for the today's video uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe signing off bye bye